Baybam in Gaza. This is my tax money. I'm sending my tax money to Baybam in Gaza. My congressman doesn't support this ceasefire. I said that we, we do want to communicate peacefully and we're reasonably angry about the situation. Millions of lives are on the line right now and we are not being heard. We're not being heard. And so we are having to raise our voices louder and louder and louder because the situation in Gaza and Palestine is so critical. There is so many lives at stake, babies' lives, the lives of mothers dying hour after hour after hour, day after day after day, hospitals being bombed, water being shut up, shut off, no access to food, electricity, the things that people need for basic life to sustain life do not exist there and we are not being heard even though we're the majority of people in this country right now calling demanding a ceasefire and and saying life is sacred all life is sacred palestinian lives are sacred our hearts are breaking as we watch our electeds stand by well, millions of people's lives are on the line when 25,000 or more lives have already been lost and there will be so many more because of the devastation and the way that Gaza has been cut off from the rest of the world. We come in peace. I, I've been listening and I would just say when somebody is listening, please notice that even if they don't agree right away, if they have heard what you have to say, then a little respect to as people are sorting through and trying to find how is the best way for a lasting peace. I have followed this situation in Palestine for decades and, and been I, very, yeah. very concerned and wanted to do better. And I do not see us doing better. So I really appreciate what you're bringing in terms of stories and energy. But when people are listening, it, if they don't agree yet, it doesn't mean just get louder as a way to the get thing them is, no, but you don't even have so you don't even have free health care you don't have free health care you don't have free education people are deep in debt and then the country this country still finds 14 billion dollars to fund bombing on palestinians like that is that is why people are angry we don't have the kind of money to be sending it for bombs. i have a question thank no thank you for coming to talk to us but can you commit right now to all these people who are ulster county residents can you commit to a resolution, a memorializing resolution from the Ulster County to divest from military funding and reinvest this in this community. Money. There are houseless people Almost in bad. this community. There are houseless people in this community and you know this and I know this and every person in that legislature knows that. Why are we funding foreign militaries to kill when we need that money here? When we need to feed 65%. people, we need to house people, we need to educate people. We're paying I, I for weapons. We need transit. We're no, but this is, we don't have time. I understand, but military divestment and community reinvestment needs to happen now. Every day, hundreds, thousands of Palestinians are being killed. Not even in Gaza, in the West Bank. There's no Hamas. There yeah, is. I, I uh, imagine the world without your, your Hamas. And, and give this word name. It's called it the whisper. But will you commit to this resolution? I don't think that the call to commit to a resolution that hasn't been written yet. Well, will you is, write one? Will you sponsor one? I will look at. And will how you to do, do it that. as soon as possible by next session? I am. Doing you will have many, the support. Right. I am doing many things, Rolster County. Whether this is where my energies do the most good is something I have to look at. Every single one of us. We there are all, people we here who have you family up. in Palestine. Residents here who have family in Palestine. Their families, their loved ones are being killed. Imagine that being your family, your loved ones. Children being crushed under the rubble. Children in body bags, plastic bags, limbs being amputated with no medication. There are mothers in Gaza, that man. Patrick Ryan that you came to see, he supports reproductive justice, but not for Gazan mothers, Every not for minutes, Gazan families. Do you know, I, I want to tell you because I'm, I'm Palestinian born and there, do you know every four minutes there's two child being killed in Gaza? Do you know my tax money as a business owner being funded to go kill my family? How do you feel about this? I think you're doing the right thing. Okay, call so for I ask you for the sake of humanity it. to just support ceasefire. I am hearing what you're saying. I'm listening. I'm willing to take that. When, when 
we have people who are listening to your data and your concerns and want to bring that into a better place, I think if you give us some space, we can do that problem solving together. If Every you ask me to take your solution how today, many thousands of people I can't killed. do that. And then we end up maybe feeling like we're not working together. I don't want that.